Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make camarones al mojo de ajo. What is that? It's uh, shrimp infused with a garlic butter oil sauce that is just divine and it's very versatile to plate with rice, pasta, and you can get creative with it. So let me go ahead and show you how I make this delicious shrimp dish because it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> What we're gonna do first is we're gonna add some oil, olive oil. I was just gonna say oil. So I used to just using canola oil. So you're gonna add about one or two tablespoons of olive oil, okay? I have my pan on a medium heat and I had it warmed up. That's why you see that little smoke coming up. But on your end, you know, just keep it low. We're gonna add our finely chopped onions. And we just want these to sweat a little bit in this olive oil, okay? And guess what, friends? For all of you that don't like onions, you can keep this out. <laughs> I love onions. Raw onions, cooked onions, onions dipped in ranch. Yes, like, girl, those are so good. Onion ring. Why are you, why are you sharing your bolsita <laughs> snacks already, okay? What? Okay, so we used to slice white onions really cold and then dip them in ranch. Yes, Steph has the best homemade ranch recipe on planet Earth. It's because I make it comfortable for my home, okay? Ooh, girl, it's good. <laughs> After a lot of experimenting, you know which one did it? Um, there's a there's a wing place that had a bomb ranch, like amazing, amazing ranch. And that's the reason why I just kept at it and at it. It took me like, what, four years to mm -hmm. finally get it? So, yeah. Use on the road ranch dressing. Hey. Where you can dip anything in your Anything, ranch. even your finger. Except your suegra. Hey, be nice to the suegras, okay? We got some good mother-in-laws on the show. We do have wonderful suegras. Good job, ladies. And they don't take offense to it because they're great. <laughs> I mean, which one, which one of you is gonna adopt me? <laughs> okay, once you have your onions that have become translucent, you don't wanna get them like too fully cooked, okay? Now you wanna add your garlic. I know that some people love garlic, some people are not too crazy about it, and I know that I did use a lot of um, finely chopped garlic. So on your end, use the amount of garlic that you're comfortable with, okay? So if you only want one ground clove, only use that. And then again, for those of you that don't like garlic but like onions, keep the onions, take out the garlic. I know people that like garlic powder but don't like onions. What do you mean, garlic powder or onion? They like the powder but they don't like the natural garlic. So garlic powder or yeah. onion? I'm confused. No, they like the garlic oh, okay. powder. They don't like the garlic cloves. Oh, like okay. The fresh yeah. cloves. Yeah, dude. That's weird, huh? Mm-hmm. And I like both. flavor. <laughs> like both. I like four pounds of garlic in mine. Um, I currently have my heat on a medium low because once you have your garlic you know that you can burn that real easily and the other thing that's about to happen right now is that my pan is pretty hot and what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my butter, okay? Um, you don't want to add your butter early on because you will burn it. And how do I know? Because I'm guilty of doing that way too many times when I first started cooking. So don't feel bad. So go ahead and add your butter. And today I'm using the Country Crock Butter, not margarine, butter stick. And it is smooth. It smells like butter, you guys. Like real butter. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. So we just want to make sure. You smell that? It smells so mm, good. Mm, mm. Once you add that butter in here, the the f smell and the flavor, because I can taste it already from the onion and the garlic, is just so pungent and delicious. Ooh. If you're one of those people that don't like cooking um, smelling foods in your house, then this might not be it for you. Because I had a Filipino friend that wouldn't cook fish in her house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She had. Well, and even my neighbors, they won't cook fish in their house. Yeah, I went, one of my friends is Filipino and I, um, he had invited me over to eat and I said, well, can I help in the kitchen? And he was like, um, the kitchen's outside. So they built the kitchen outside and he, the reason he told me was because they, they use a lot of like frying and stuff. They uh -huh. didn't want that in the house. Yeah. The frying smell uh -huh. or the food smell. Yeah. yeah. Same, uh, same with our neighbors. That oh. food was bomb though. Okay. Friends, once you've melted the butter and you see that that smell came through, now you want to go ahead and add your shrimp, okay? Hey, Robert, your girl's dropping hands. She wants an outdoor kitchen. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. 
That's right, girl. That would be the dream. I just get the yes. water hose and water it all down. Exactly. Okay. And then water the kids down while you're at it. <laughs> yeah. So once you've added your shrimp, you can put this heat back on a medium. Because shrimp cook real, real quick. Those are some pretty looking shrimp you got there, Right. Girl. Camarones al mojo de ajo is pretty much your garlic um, and, sh and gar <laughs> your shrimp and garlic uh, oil type of substance. So anything you add extra, you're making it comfortable for your home. And if you add another ingredient to kind of uh, spruce it up, you end up actually making a different dish than this one in particular. Okay. Like if you add um, some type of chili, then you're you're really changing the flavor profile and what this dish is all about. I like the simplicity of this dish, it's so good. Yes, it's very simple. One of the great things about this dish is that you can do this uh, recipe al mojo de ajo and you can pair it with rice like we like to do in our home or you can do it with like angel hair pasta. It gives it that, um, I don't know, it's kind of like that sophisticated like shrimp scampi pasta style, okay. you know? Mm -hmm. So that's what I like. Okay, so start turning them over when they turn pink. And these are the ones that I actually like to keep juicy. You know how I usually, for my tacos, I over crisp my shrimp? For this one, you want to keep your shrimp nice and juicy. Okay? Just like the person making it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, my thick and juicy. You know, I'm losing way too much weight, I know, but I'm getting healthy. There's not that much pressure on my knees. I feel healthier, but I'm always going to be thick and juicy. Always. I like it. So once you flipped over all your shrimp, oh, oh, I almost dropped that. Um, you want to sprinkle your pepper, whether it's white pepper or black pepper. Today I decided to use uh, white pepper. And you want to add your parsley. You can use fresh parsley, but I'm not too fond of fresh parsley. It kind of gives me headaches for some reason. Um, but the dried one, I do well with. Give that a good little stir. When I was younger and I would make a dish, girl, that wasn't Mexican, I'd always add like the sprinkle of parsley. I don't know what wow. the hell I saw that, but I was trying to be bougie. And I remember my mom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're sick for I that. I remember our mother like really humbling me in that conversation about parsley. So yeah. like now I just use it once in a while when it you calls You use it, it when it calls yeah. for it? <laughs> Yeah, when you add the parsley, especially if you're using the dried parsley, it's kind of like um, the dried oregano, the Mexican oregano, how the smell is. And I can handle it when it's like this. And on certain fresh dishes, I can handle fresh parsley. It's yeah. rare. Um, okay, and for myself, making it comfortable for my home, I like to see color, especially when I have my shrimp. So I add a little bit of the purple onion. Ooh. You see, our shrimp right here just needs a little bit of cooking. So this will be on here another, what, minute, minute or two. They're done pretty quickly. And if you guys, if you guys really want to do it up, if your men or your loved ones, lo I say men because I know, you know, I can't convince a grizzly for shrimp like this, <laughs> but if you got a man that really enjoys like seafood, you can add a little bit of heavy cream in here, just a little splash, like one tablespoon, and then even grate some cheese on top and then pour it over your rice. Ooh, that's a good idea, isn't like it? Like ease, ease them into eating the real mojo Yeah, the real <laughs> one. Just ease it. But a lot of people like their shrimp with like creamy bases. Oh, okay. So that's what you can do for this one. But for me, I want all that garlic to really, really go through my system. I want to be extra stinky for the grizzly today. Nice. <laughs> all right, friends. Our shrimp are done here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spruce this up with a little bit of... You guys know what my favorite thing is. A little bit of cilantro. Cilantro. Y boom, boom, boom. Y boom, boom, sass. All right, guys, I'll see you for a tasting and we're plating. Oh, yeah. When you guys are done with the whole recipe, that's when you want to add your salt, okay? If you're using salted butter, you probably don't have to do this, but for me, I use salted butter and I get salty with it. So just sprinkle a little bit of salt because that way it's not taking the complete moisture out of your shrimp because if you would have added earlier, they would have been even like drier shrimp. And for this particular recipe, you don't want them to be too dry. That's why you add it at the end. All right, so that's my tip to you. Okay. Now that we've made this super quick and easy dish, it shouldn't take, your rice is gonna take you longer to cook than your shrimp, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice taste and I'm gonna dip it into some of that butter, oil, garlicky sauce. Mmm. And then once you have the rice, you let it absorb into that oil. 
Yeah. Girl, you gotta try this. I'm tooting my own horn on this one, honey. In slow motion. <gasps> wow. I gave you a slow motion monster. Mmm. So good. You don't even need the rice. That's how good this is. I didn't think I was gonna like the onions, but I do. Mm -hmm. And I think I do need rice in my life. Hi. Don't act like they've never seen you. You don't want to say hello? Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Hi, bye. <laughs> you did your round. <laughs> How is that, girl? Mm. I'm okay. going to wash it down with some um, LaCroix lime. It tastes like key lime pie. That's a key lime pie. Uh -huh. This is what keeps me away from eating sugar and desserts. Why don't you show me what you just did? It tastes like a key lime pie. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they can't see me because there's nobody behind the camera, so I don't know where the where the frame's at. Mm -hmm. So if they don't see me and they just see my nose, they can see it all the way over there. What? <laughs> my God! Here. You just came came out. <laughs> <laughs> we what? do have a comment of the of the day. Oh, we do. Yes. Would you like to read it, sis? You want me to read it? No, you can read it, sis. Okay. Um. All right. This one's on the morcajete. Do I have anything in IT? Mm, you have teeth and gums. We have another taste tester over here. Bebe, make sure we're in the frame, okay, Bebe? You're gonna help us. Thanks, Bebe. Mm -hmm. This comes from Mel L, and we know Mel, always leaving lovely comments, thank you. All right, this one had 65 thumbs up and three replies. Thank you for sharing all your wonderful tips and recipes with us. For the people that comments and say her food recipe isn't authentic or she doesn't cook like your mom or your grandmother, no, she's clearly not. She's cooking her own way and it's her channel. She can do whatever she pleases and if you don't like the way that she does it, uh, keep your negative comments to yourself and have a great day. Uh, Blue Heart. Uh, thank you, Mel. We agree with you. We do like the comments. We we're not opposed to feedback and criticism, constructive criticism. I think where it gets a little dicey is when we get threats or things telling us to go back to our country. Um, Half of our family has always been on, on this land, so when we when we hear go back to your country, we're like, hold on, let me open the door so I can step outside to my country. <laughs> no, we're kidding, you guys. We love you. We appreciate you accepting us. Um, sorry for our camera guy. He's kicking it because he doesn't really understand the camera angles, but he's trying his best. <laughs> Shout out to Bebe! Come join us, Bebe, for some food. You know, you're right. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep my negative comments to myself. But half the time when I invite you guys into my kitchen, I'm really inviting you like if you were in my home and you guys know that I, I am very much like I keep to myself and this is the best way that I can share and 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 be with friends at the same time. Oh lord. Oh wow that was a big bite. <laughs> Let's go, cameraman. Let's go, little helper. <laughs> Wow, baby, that was the biggest Thank bite you. ever. Hi, You're welcome. Hi. Thank you for covering the camera. So yeah, we definitely do appreciate your comments. And if you guys scroll through our previous comments, Cloud and I do a really good job to keep it clean for you guys because if you guys watched my previous videos, um, ooh, I want to say anything from last year, you will hear curse words every once in a while. But I, I listen to you guys, and that's I only listen because I read your guys' comments. And even though I am mouthy with my choice of words on a day-to-day -day, on this particular channel, um, if you guys see them from uh, probably like last year and, and before that, you're going to hear a few curse words there. But any of the new recipes from 2019 going forward, there is no curse words. Um, so keep that in mind if you guys are watching my channel. And I think slowly over the years, I'll start getting rid of those uh, previous videos. Because I honestly, I don't remember which ones because I have collaborations. I have like all these videos where I do curse. So. But I respect that about you. You don't curse in front of your children and you understand that other people want to watch your channel with their children and they don't want their kids to listen to. Well, you know, day. you know, the thing yeah. is that I try not to curse in front yeah. of them, but I'm human. It does happen like when I'm expressing myself mm -hmm. and even for them, they, they do watch my channel. So they already know what mom's about. I don't hide who I am to them. Yeah. And this is a woman that they're going to meet when they become adults and we're hand in hand with each other. But I understand on your guys' point, I'm I, I do read your comments and I do take um, some of them serious and as I mentioned before I don't because you guys are what makes the channel so if I don't read my comments like what's the fun in this I love reading your comments so leave them for me let's go get your mom out of the kitchen do sofa de caracol ready <laughs> baby get on the train let's get her out of here say adios sofa de caracol hey what's that there we go to do 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 Oh, oh, you, you like this. 
That was a distraction wow. to keep him I think... alone with the plate. <laughs> oh wow, really? Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the shrimp. What do you think about the shrimp? Good. They're, I know why you like them. Because these shrimp came out a little sweet, didn't they? You taste the sweetness in them? You know what did Not that? Not really. Oh, you don't? I don't taste yeah. the sweetness, but I, it has a good balance with the onion. Yeah, it's, it's not too sweet. It's like mm -hmm. a subtle sweetness. I can taste it, and it's because of the onions. And then the shrimp are sweet on their own, too. So. Oh, man. Wow, baby. This is so good. Lunch for tomorrow. You're right. This is going <laughs> down right now. You're trying to save some for tomorrow, and you know that just us three are going to tear this plate apart right now. I came with a Tupperware. I am that relative. <laughs> you invite me to a cookout, I will show up with a Tupperware, but I will clean your entire kitchen. Like I said to you guys, everything, all the food that you guys see on this channel, somebody in my family or in my house eats it, and if for some reason they're not eating it, I definitely give it away. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's it. I hope you guys really like this one. Matanerico. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, friends, that's how I make camarones al mojo de ajo. Uh, if you like this recipe, make sure that you let me know in the comments. Also, if you're new to the channel and you like uh, Mind and Cloud's chit chat and how we give recipes and help you get along with your recipes, make sure to subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Adios!